Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a super crazy video. We're going to be starting it off with Ninja, Cloaksy, and other pro players just freaking out and absolutely pissed off that Epic Games has scheduled the Pro-Am tournament where they're going to be competing with superstars from the NFL, NBA, actors, celebrities, whatever. An amazing event, but they scheduled it on the same day as the very last chance for these players to qualify for the Fortnite World Cup under duos. We'll take a look at their responses they are pissed off, but they're not the only people pissed off right now. The Fortnite World Cup casters are so upset that they're going to have to cast cheaters in New York. We're going to be taking a look at their reactions to Ziff and Ronaldo qualifying. Dr. Lupo is pissed. And real quick, before we jump straight in the video, I just want to say, guys, if you enjoy my content daily, don't forget to drop a like on my video. I haven't really been asking for likes or subs recently because I know it gets annoying sometimes, but if you can drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, jumping into it, and we'll start it off with this Pro-Am situation. For those of you guys who don't know what the Pro-Am is, it's a tournament hosted by Epic Games where they bring together their popular streamers and pro players and then team them up with really famous people like musicians, DJs, NBA players, actors. For example, Cloaksy is teamed up with Dillian Francis, a DJ, and then Tifu is teamed up with Josh Hart, an LA Lakers player. And then Ninja's teamed up with Marshawn Lynch, a very popular football player. So as you can see, it's a super cool event, and Epic Games does do an amazing job at bringing together the gaming world, the entertainment world, and all that stuff. We love the Pro-Am. But the issue here is when it is scheduled, which is June 15th and June 16th. And if you haven't guessed already that is the very last qualifier for the Fortnite World Cup week 10 duos and this is why these players are freaking out. They're top tier pro players, and they all have a really good chance at qualifying for the World Cup. Ninja, Tifu, and Cloaksy have all been up there in the duos. I mean, like top 10 almost every single week for them. And this is their very last chance to make it in the duos event. And for Ninja and Cloaksy, neither of them have qualified in either solos or duos yet, so this is really huge for them. So neither Ninja or Cloaksy are happy about this. We'll take a look at Ninja's response on stream, but first, let's take a look at Cloaksy tweets. He said this yesterday. Just found out E3 Pro Am tourney is during the last duo week of the World Cup qualifier. Whose bright idea was that, lol, at Epic Games? And then just two hours ago, he said this. Can we start a petition to push back the final week of the duo qualifiers so people can play and watch the Pro Am tourney slash block party event? For some genius reason, they're on the same day. And then his duo partner, Dillian Francis, the DJ, said, F, are you gonna bail on me, crying face? And then Cloaksy fired May major shot at Epic Games by saying this, no, help me make Epic care about their community for once. Dang, that's crazy. Cloaksy really coming for Epic Games, but he is speaking the truth here. It's unreal that Epic Games scheduled these two massive events on the same day, and it's the last chance for these players to qualify. It's almost unbelievable at this point, and here's what Ninja had to say on his stream about it when Dr. Lupo asked him. So what's your what's your opinion on the pro am timing with the last week of duos and all that? I'm trying to get out of it in a way, not necessarily. I mean, it's a whole thing, dude. Yeah. I'm not trying to get out of it. I want to be a part of it, but in a way that I can still play on Sunday. But here's the thing: is that the way I want to be a part of it is going to be you know me being physically there, and I'll be on West Coast, which means that I'll be playing with the first on East Coast, which means that even if I do somehow find a way around it, I'm going to be playing on like 80 to 90 things. Is there any or chance like you could you just fl fly reverse out? And, we'll, and then we play Wednesday and have and, only, and be the duo that wins top one in West Coast. I mean, if it, it, it it's up to you. Is it is it ping or placement spots that you rather have you know have the chance of, of going for it? You know, you have better ping, go for the top you know the number one, or more placement spots and you, and you just play a little more secure. I, I don't know, I don't know what the call is there because that's. That's tough, man. So basically, Ninja has been put in a position by Epic Games where he has to choose between the Pro-Am and the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers. So as Ninja mentioned, he's also trying to work around it to see if he can play in both of them, but that would possibly require flying reverse 2k out to the West Coast as well. And then that only leaves them one chance to qualify, because in the West server, there's one spot for duo that makes it, 
whereas in the East Coast server, the top three teams end up qualifying. So you literally have 66% more chance at qualifying on East, but if he plays on East, he'll have high ping, and he doesn't even know if he will be able to play in general because he's still trying to get out of it. So it's just a huge mess. And it's not just the pro players who are annoyed or don't understand this decision. Ewok came out on Twitter and she said, Hey Epic Games and Fortnite Game, three top reasons to postpone Duo Week 10 to June 22nd and June 23rd. And you'll be able to get more viewers for the Pro-Am on the 15th and 16th, and then for the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers, if you push it back, you'll get way more viewers for that as well, instead of splitting them up. And then of course, the third and final reason, we all want to watch our favorite duos, Reverse 2K Ninja, and then Tifu and Cloaksy attempt to qualify for the finals in New York on that very last week, rather than watching them in the Pro-Am. Let's be honest, Tifu has been getting like 300k viewers every single time he streams the World Cup qualifiers with Cloaksy. That's what we want to see, not the Pro-Am. Well, I mean, we want to see the Pro-Am. We want to see them both. So please, schedule them at different times, Epic, please. So that's one of the main reasons why pro players and the community are really upset with Epic Games. Just poor scheduling, and it seems like they don't care about the community. Now, the second reason, which we covered yesterday, obviously is Ronaldo and Ziff, the cheaters, or players who did cheat like three weeks ago, being able to qualify for the World Cup in such a short time. And honestly, it seems like all of the Epic Games casters for the Fortnite World Cup are just completely upset and pissed off about this, specifically Dr. Lupo. He lost it on Nick Merck's stream yesterday. Let's go ahead and roll the clip of him freaking out and saying he is not going to commentate for Ziff and Ronaldo, roll it. Please do not yo, do that. Yo, yo, uh, how, how does this happen? Yo, I bet you're ecstatic to, to commentate that guy, huh? Did you see my tweet? Yo, you replied to it. Yeah, I just, you know, uh, you're, you're gonna have to commentate him. Uh, you don't have a choice. You ready for this? All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Lupo, and today yeah, pushing for the world first World Cup championship in Fortnite is a whole lot of gamers that work their ass off and two who don't deserve to be here <laughs> you're not gonna say you say that dude you are undeniably the greatest man of all time uh, but, but um, i'm escorted out of the building the second right, i say 100 these say two bots who don't deserve <laughs> any of this are playing out of their no, no, minds chill, Look, chill. lasering no, yet chill, another chill, player dude, who chill. doesn't I'm, shoot I'm, back i don't want to go on keep star show a player again. landing directly Stop. on top of them has no weapon well while we pog Correct. in the chat what will oh and look another free elimination a top <laughs> 50 position right now for this duo and they're sitting on 48 count it 48 eliminations unbelievable how many of their subs are the every single one of them we just got confirmation they pushed into yet another box a player with no materials no ammunition no weapons and no dream of doing jack shit except for feeding two players who are sadly good enough to compete but for some reason don't give a fuck about anything <laughs> yeah so as you can see dr lupo is not excited about casting these guys and i know yesterday when they announced that ziff and ronaldo won it seemed like the casters were okay with it but then somebody on Reddit did an edit of a zoom in on every single caster's face and they all seemed absolutely destroyed and pissed off. It's unbelievable, guys. Let's roll that clip. One other thing in terms of Ziff and Ronaldo, it's very easy to pile on and be negative. There's a lot of you who have an opportunity to go out there and be a lighthouse. What you decide to do is in your own hands, but let's... Shout out to Destiny's Jesus for making that on Reddit. It's absolutely hilarious and it shows their true reaction to this. And then Zay on his stream yesterday also reacted to Balo's reaction and he just lost it. It's the funniest thing ever, guys. Roll it. Look at it. Look at it again. Ziff and Ronaldo getting that final spot again out of the stack lobby. But we're not done for the day. We need to recharge, reset, take a quick We're going again. 
It seems like almost nobody in the community is happy that Ziff and Ronaldo qualified, whether they cheated yesterday or not. They are still cheaters overall. They got caught by Epic Games. It's unreal. This is what Avery had to say on Twitter. Cheated or not, you should not be given a second chance if you get caught the first time. 14 day ban does not justify someone trying to rob Epic Games. But hey, they allow it. And then a follow up tweet that said, funny that they robbed Tifu's money when he bought an account, but give money to someone who tries to rob them. Laughing emojis. It's so true. I can't believe some of the decisions they have made in the past. Not only that one, but they also banned Nate Hill and Funk Bomb for literally the entire fall skirmish event just because they told Epic Games, oh hey guys, players might be able to ghost off your live stream because there's no delay. Oh, get them out of here. Ban them, ban them for three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. But hey, if you guys cheat for 50k and qualify, you only get banned for two weeks and you're allowed to play in the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers and make another 50k if you don't cheat again which we don't even know if they did. We'll have to wait for Epic Games on that. But it's crazy, guys. The community is unhappy right now. It's just, it, we've been unhappy for a while. They've made a few changes over the past few weeks that have been pretty decent. The meta's getting better, but then Ziff and Ronaldo qualify, and then they schedule the Pro-Am on the same day as the last week of the qualifiers, and now everybody's unhappy again. Epic Games, you seem to fail every single time. Be sure to leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think about all of this. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, I've been on the road for about a week now, and I've been making videos on my laptop with pretty bad Wi-Fi, so if there are some mistakes here and there and they don't sound the best, that's why. I will be back home in a few days, though, guys. So thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.